on some lights. That's bright. Can you guys see me? <laughs> With one third of the light that we're gonna have in the shop, the building's gonna come alive and put all these lights on. Now we're just hoping the doors get put up before the snow flies, right? I don't even care now, we ain't waiting on that door. We'll probably get a lot more proactive to go ahead and get the box in here and move the machine shop here once we got all the light done. Good deal, there's one day down. I'm gonna open all these little bitty clips. Wait, last night. And hopefully we can get them to go in. We have not gotten any of these, any screws that we've got to work with these plastic clips. Turn this one. Start this thing up. And then maneuver this up and over so that we can see if those drill, this, these screws will work. None of the screws, other than some self tappers that we did up there work. So I'm testing now to see if we can't find an alternate. So we're gonna spin this and back it up a little bit. Oh, let's watch that. No problem. This thing is pretty heavy. Okay. Looks like it's gonna work. Let's back it off. <laughs> it's gonna work. Let's put some lights up. Yay. He said the screws I found work in the white plastic clips. That's the white plastic clip, and that one's got a metal clip. Here comes some more lights. So we gotta move it again. We're gonna keep going. It worked. We're gonna have all the lights here in a minute. You're waiting. Julie always has to leave at the right time. Finally got a contraption that'll work between two pilot drills. And these little plastic clips are working pretty good. We're running them as close, pretty freaking close to the edge. Putting them in. And I like it. It's going up pretty good. It's going up quick. So we're on our last row of eight footers. Have this blocked off because there's a, obviously a big old hole. But it's a little dirty over here. We've been kind of busy farming. We haven't cleaned up much. So we'll get these done. We're still waiting on garage door guys. They were supposed to be here last week and never showed up. I'll go get him another light. So now we're in this shop. We've got all the eight footers up over there and we are gonna start taking four footers down from here and putting eight footers in place. That way that line going across behind my head will be a solid line all the way from the side of the building over all the way to the other side. We're gonna see how close we can get with eight footers. See where it ends at. I don't wanna pull the wire out of the Spool, I just ripped the plastic off of it. There's two sections done. We have enough eight footers to finish the third section. So one light switch worth of lights, or three trusses worth of lights. And then we'll have five, I already have them open. We have six lights here. Doesn't really look like, but there's six lights there. And there's still five left in the box. So we'll have five extra. But at least we got one, one whole section done with eight footers. And we should have plenty of four footers for the other side. And I mean, unless we order some more eight foot lights, then. We're stealing all the lights, taking the eight footers. 
We're not going to do it later. We're going to do it right freaking now. We're stealing the four footers. I don't want to have half of the thing done and, and constantly say, well, well, we'll put those up there later. No, it's right now. We're gonna, it's going to be like a, It's going to be right over there. Yeah. Real it's going to be right here, too. That way, when it comes off, it's all straight. There's where we're going to start. We're going to run the rest of those six lights on one drop, on one home run. And I'll switch them separately, independently, but the, the, as far as getting current, they're gonna all come from by themselves. And they're all, all the ceiling lights on this whole shop are gonna be ran off one breaker, 20 amp. I don't know if it'll work or not, but I would love to have it ran off one breaker. Cause they, they're LEDs. They don't take almost no power at all. And we did get the lights that we needed. I robbed them. I went over in this bay. I don't even think they're on and switched out yep they're on robbed the eight footers i went ahead and i went ahead and gave uh gave some eight footers up for this half of the shop yeah <laughs> we we traded them out that way he can go full full length because he ordered enough for it and the other ones are like a dash line on the highway and i put these up it did not take very long at all makes it bright Looking at every section in between all the, the posts, poles, as a workstation, right? Julie is just about getting this area right here and probably take it to the saw cut, which the saw cut is pretty much the door opening. It's, it goes right to the door. So just like we did the last shop, we put her an office up right there. This might be the same thing. We'll see what happens in the future. See if I'm talking smack. What are you doing, little guy? Crawling around on the floor? Huh. We don't have any doors, so if a caterpillar wants to come on in here and hang out on the floor, well, I hope you don't get killed. This drop right here is all by itself tied in here, fed by the 200 amp 4 out wire, 4 out aluminum wire. I guess that's the number. I don't know a lot about numbers, but I was told it was 4 out. It's big stuff. Feeding that and split there, which we're also split outside. It's a little rough, but you know what? It's fine. At least we're going to be built from this side, even though we need to buy some other wire if we have a problem. For right now, we're going to run this thing. And honestly, if something catches on fire, something catches on fire. I don't think we're going to pull that much power. I mean, I would like to pull power, as much power as we can possibly pull out of that meter, because that means we're getting as much work done as we possibly can. So... Let's make that meter just count like a son of a gun. Let's catch the wires on fire. We're sucking so much power. I am all for that. Oh. We need doors. <laughs> Julie is on a shelf kick. We don't know where we're gonna get shelves, what we're gonna have for shelves. I'm not really seeing so much as shelves uh, as, as work areas tables I, I need i need the old work benches but we have the the halves this is the edge of the building that would that was cut out right there and there's two of these so i mean worst case scenario we can set these things up and put the spray cabinets behind them that way they're a little quieter but we also have we have multiple things coming going on for the spray cabinets so that they're going to change right now I don't even think I want to move them. I mean, I have a power line that's hot. Look what I did. <laughs> I taped it up and then I taped water bottles onto them. And that's, that's hot. I left that hot because that way, everything that's in this whole area right here is done. It does not have to be touched other than go outside and shut the main off to hook these up. That's it. Shut the main off, drop that piece of conduit right there drop that son of a gun down, put it at the level, and then put the other breaker box on it. So, 
but I don't want to take this apart. Okay, the spray cabinets are powered right now from the air. I put a ratchet strap on it when I changed the lights. I want that box and that to run that spray cabinet. That thing already proved it's worth. Uh, this is the first, these are the first spray cabinets that Don's been introduced to and he loves that. The big one is actually, it's more specific. This little guy, you can put everything in the world in it. I mean, put your hat in it if you had to, if the water was clean. That thing's just so big and kind of thirsty. It's got two heating elements down there in the bottom. 140 gallons of water. I don't know that I want to take it apart. They just run all freaking day long for hours on end. There's always something to put in them that they can be cleaning. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. But once the doors get on, we'll take the tarp down. And you'll be able to see a long ways, way over there. Like, uh, 60, 50, 110, 150 feet. So it's 150 feet from one side to the other. <laughs> That's a long damn ways. But walking all the way over, just so you can flip the, the light on. You know, and it's like, yeah, convenience, what, do we wanna go through the resources and, and run all the lines and the time that could be spent doing something else? Or we could just, I mean, I'm thankful to be able to walk over and turn the damn light on. We don't have to go get all fancy and put third three-way switches in and be able to flip the lights on from every door. I don't give a damn. If we want light, cause we wanna, you know, change the oil and bike or something, then just walk over to where the light is and turn it on. Big freaking deal. Otherwise, carry a flashlight. I mean, right? Man, we have our stuff everywhere. These are the towels. I grabbed 750 quadrillion freaking towels out of that little cabinet right there. We're gonna finally get it back and go put it up. All that stuff up there. That came from the shop. That came from Grain Valley. That came from freaking Odessa. That was in my barn. We traded a live wire for that. I need to get all this stuff out. But I was looking for all of our banners. They might even be. Hmm. No bench grinder. Is it on? Yeah. It's good to go. Show us how many hours. I mean, how many hours have you watched of us running that freaking thing? And that, that thing just pisses me off, but it's it, it just, just a little homeowner special. And <laughs> exhaust manifolds, it's not quite long enough to do it, so you better pay attention. Maybe we should just move it over there so we can go ahead and start building where everything is gonna be. I mean, the owner almost needs a paint job. It needs to be freaking paint jobbed. Why is it all dark in here? Man, we're about to, it's about to happen. I've been working for two days, three days. I don't know how, a while. Too long. That ain't bad. I'll send it. Can Is I it? do it? Can I do it? I want to do it. Watch it trip. <laughs> you got all the lights on? Oh. How did it do? The light switches. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're wired wrong. There's a 98% chance. They're wired wrong. Are the light <laughs> switches the <laughs> <laughs> We didn't even mount the box. Well, the the other, yeah, the other. The they're other not box. even mounted. We just have it so that we're going to get all the out of boxes. So it's well, very disappointing. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're going to do it. Yeah, I guess you can do it. Let's redo it. Keep, just go. Turn it on. Turn, turn it on. Right. Oh, you did that right as I flipped it, and I thought that shirt was freaking breaking. Right as I flipped the light switch, you hit that. And I was like, oh, God, you're sitting in the hall. I was like, ready? ready? Get the lift back out. Ready? Yep. Oh, my God. It's too oh. bright. Oh, get out your sunglasses, oh guys. Oh, God. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. You can actually wear sunglasses in here. 
And so, yes, we stayed up till 11.15 on Sunday. That's an early night. That is pretty early night. We are going to put them on there, though. I am putting them on there. I get it. We got to do those two. Those two are going to be... Oh, well. No, we're going to do those two. Because I guess they'll be above the office. <laughs>